You're here because you want to beat these prop firms. Getting funded is really that last step of becoming a real profitable trader, having the capital to use these big accounts, group trading and making these huge profit days. Prop firms, on the other hand, have done a great job of actually making it so hard to pass these accounts. Obviously, me mentoring people, I see how hard it is for some people. I've passed over 10 funded accounts just this week. The more you put yourself in the shoes of these prop firms and actually try to find the best solution for yourself, the more capable I've been at passing accounts. This breakdown is going to put you in a whole different ballpark than you were before you watched this video. Yo, for real though, thank you for 10K, man. I didn't even know we hit it, bro. I felt like I'm such a dummy, but all I want to do is just continue to help you guys inspire you, get better every single day. God has given me a chance to do some crazy things, and I just really appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to do so. But all respects, bro, I need that 100K play button, so I ain't really satisfied. Before we do anything, we have to break down psychology. This is a broad topic, but something that you need to understand before you get into all of this is controlling your mental before you do anything on that screen. When I told you you need to put yourselves in the shoes of these prop firms, this is what I mean by that. Sale luring. No matter who you're trading, through or what you're trading these prop firms will drop sales one day passes half off resets these guys are trying to get you comfortable with buying and buying and buying and buying over again taking these super risky trades because oh it's only 50 bucks these prop firms will also lure you in with these giant accounts like a 300k to get you to try and pass them. Meanwhile, if you're looking at the drawdown to the profit goal, that is probably one of the worst accounts to ever look at purchasing. The highest you should be buying a funded account of is 150K. Your objective is to pass these as fast as possible. A 150K with the profit firm I use is only a 9K profit goal with a 5K drawdown. That gives me so much room to potentially pass this account while also having a big enough drawdown to where I can actually manipulate and do pretty well with the account. All right, bro, look, I'm a little sunburnt. I'm sorry, bro. I step outside in Florida for one second, I get burnt. Ow. Let's get into the trading side of this. I'm not here to tell you the textbook way of passing a bonded account. In most topics, you'll hear some people say, don't play right by the book, meaning you don't have to do everything technically. Just want to say real quick, we're doing a huge funded account university inside the Discord for the Limitless Plus people. I haven't really talked a lot about this yet. This is really the first time some of you guys may be hearing this. Just think about it as you watch this video, because I promise you, if you take this step and you work with me, you are going to pass the funded account if you do the correct things. Because if you don't, we got bigger issues. When you're on these eval accounts, you need to size up your position size. I don't mean full port. Need to think about passing this account with the least amount of trades as possible. When you have a strategy and when you are trading correctly, we will have what are called A plus setups like this motherfucker right here. I alerted this in my discord this morning. I made five grand from this this morning. This is an A plus setup. Now let's break this down. This top zone was actually all time highs before today. We had news release comes out and we actually did break above, but we didn't close and we came back down. We got rejected. Price then actually started to shoot down. I was playing longs the entire day because I just thought we were so close to all time highs that at some point we could potentially break them and trend upwards now you can see i have this other zone set up and since i trade supply and demand i love playing off these zones you can see this rejection led to a pretty nice sell-off but look at how hard buyers bought this back up and we closed right above my zone on the two minute time frame now i love to play off emas as well and you can see this rejection was right back above our emas we never closed below this is an a plus setup steph trades stamp i have multiple confluence of obviously a bullish day so far so we're playing with the trend we rejected off a zone and we closed back above it that shows buyers are obviously prominent in this area we have have multiple rejections off our EMA. And most importantly, we have a great r, &R. On an eval account, I would see this and not take my normal position size because the potential is all the way up here where I'm only risking a small amount. This gives me so much room to actually take trims and hold runners as well. I would use eight to 10 minis right here on NQ. Remember what I was talking to you about quantity? We want to have small quantity, good quality. You need to look at leveraging up on these eval accounts. They're fucking fake money. This is only going to lead you to beating them faster and obviously having less stress. You don't need to take 20 trades to pass an account. You're only focused should be getting past this eval. I passed over 10 fund accounts this week. No account of I took an over five trades on. The difference between over leveraging and full porting is the ability to understand our managed risk. Right here is a great example of managed risk. Yes, I'm over leveraging. Yes, this is risky. The risk to reward is extremely high. 9.3. Sometimes the risk is good. Let's talk about drawdown. The worst thing about these freaking funded accounts. If you don't know about the trailing drawdown, you're going to find out real fast. For example, 150K accounts have a trailing drawdown of 5,000. That 5,000 will follow you no matter what your high is of the account. So you could be in a trade, let's say you're up five points, you're up 500 bucks. If you end up getting stopped out at break even, or whatever, it will track that 500 bucks that you were in mid trade. It's so ass. The best thing I can tell you to do is just don't even look at it. This is going to influence your trades 
more than anything. You know what the profit goal is in mind. You do not need to look at anything else. Take your trades how you would normally do so. With this trade up as examples, I like to do my trims in increment of 10. So I'll take a 10 point trim, 20 point trim, 30 point trim. What about that involves my drawdown? There's no need for you to look at it. There's no need for you to acknowledge it. It's like a dog, bro. You just gotta like not even acknowledge it. The more you just treat this like a paper account, the better it's gonna be for you. You have nothing to prove to anybody. None of this money is even yours. These are all things that these prop firms do to try and psych you out of passing these accounts. Continue to take trades how you would always do so. Just be locked in on what you're doing. Take these good trades. Take your trims correctly. Enter these trades correctly. Manage your risk and you will never have to worry about that anyways. Now let's talk about actually passing the account. I'm always going to be as real with you as possible. There's no reason to be spending multiple days, weeks on trying to pass an eval account. I bought 10 accounts this week and I passed all of them within one day. Forget about the profit goal they set you. You need to be focused and you need to take your own profit goals into mind every time you get into a trade. Using websites to calculate your profits, you can't play their game. You can't let that profit goal or drawdown manipulate your mind. Take trades as if you want a paper account because they are. I treat my actual accounts and my eval accounts completely different. Focus on your rules. Take good setups. Don't trade news. Have a consistent risk reward and have that abundant mindset. These accounts don't matter. This is all a premeditated game. The more you can pre-plan in your mind before you take your trades, the better you're going to be. A lot of people during their trades try to find out things and try to figure things out. They end up freaking out. They end up selling too early, selling too late, doing stupid stuff. You need to have everything set up at the point where you're just clicking buttons, setting up your orders and stepping away from your computer. Without that mindset, you're going to struggle to pass these accounts. At this point, you should be looking to going live. That means passing these accounts and actually buying the real version of them. All these things I just mentioned to you, you need to approach completely different than what you were doing with the eval accounts. Now, when I say that, don't get all freaked out. It's going to be totally fine. At the end of the day, it's all fake money still. But I get pretty risky with my evals because I don't really care about them. Your entire goal when you first pass an account is getting past that initial drawdown. On past accounts, that trailing drawdown doesn't trail you anymore. It's just the drawdown. So if you can get over that limit, you will not have anything trailing you at all. This will allow you to have a lot more free mindset and also hold runners till literally whenever you want. You're going to feel a lot more free and a lot more comfortable taking these trades. A lot of people focus on payouts. A lot of people focus on just making money as fast as they possibly can. The further you get away from that drawdown, the more money you are going to make just from a psychological standpoint. Don't worry about payouts. Don't worry about nothing. Three trades a day at most. I like to say at least three risk to reward and these need to be A plus setups. I know there may be days where price action sucks and you still want to trade so bad because you're addicted. Go buy another eval account and fuck with that. You've came all this way, paid all this money to get this account you need to treat it. So let's talk about group trading right now. Group trading is probably the most OP within these funded accounts. The reason why I can have $20,000, $30,000 days is because if I have six accounts and I make $3,000 per account, go ahead and add that up and tell me how much that is. I'm doing the same thing I do every single day, but I'm just connecting these accounts together. Therefore, my capital six times itself if I had six extra accounts. That's why these funded accounts matter so much. The compounding, once you pass multiple and combine them together is immense. I had four accounts and I had a $20,000 day today. Imagine what I can do with 20. Now let's talk about something you don't have right now that I'm going to send you off with. And that's going to be your change in approach once you pass these accounts. To me now, passing accounts is just another day, really. I'm not even joking. There used to be this big dark cloud over me every time I'd fail an account or whatever. You're going to have bad trading days. It's just how it works. I trade every single day of the year. That's like around 280 days of trading. You think I'm just going to have 280 good days? That free mindset I was talking to you about when you actually passed accounts is what I have now, really doing whatever. To me, everything is just candlesticks and buttons. Biggest thing I mean by that is just keep going, bro. If you just keep doing this, you're going to pass an account. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a couple accounts to actually pass one. This is the biggest opportunity inside the trading game for pretty much anybody. If you ain't subscribed though, please consider it because, you know, it means a lot.